So hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video and the Index Preview event just arrived in the game, so let's take a look at it. So what is this all about? Well, it's supposedly a preview of a much bigger competitive event that's gonna come later on, and they just release the preview so we can give them feedback and they can tweak it a little bit before they release the full event. And it's essentially a corpus version of the Grenier Rathum Arena, but the scoring system is a little bit different. It's sort of kill confirmed combined with capture the flag. So you will find the event in your navigation and it takes place on Neptune. Every time you want to join an arena, you have to put in a little bit of credits, but if you win, you will get double the credits as a reward. With the first arena, you can either go for low risk and pay 1,500 credits, and if you win and score 5 points on your own, you will win 3,000 credits in return. You can go for medium risk, where you pay 3,000 credits, and if you win and score 10 points on your own, you will get 6,000 credits in return. However, you will have one negative modifier on you for the entire mission. Or you can go for high risk where you pay 6,000 credits and if you win and score 20 points on your own you will get 12,000 credits in return, however you will have two negative effects on you for the entire mission. And the negative effects can be anything from just a lower energy to even half shoots or lower health. Now the way you score points in this arena is that every time a contestant dies, and it doesn't matter if it's you, your teammates or the specters that play with you if you're alone, or the enemies, they will drop a green index point. You can pick up as many of these index points as you want, however, when you die you will drop all of them and the enemy can pick them up, and each index point also reduces your maximum health, so the more of them you have, the squishier you are. But there is a point to picking up more of them, because the more of them you have, the more bonus points you get when you bank them and the banking point will always be marked as an objective as long as you have at least one index point on you. And the first team that reaches 50 index points wins. And this is in my opinion the first failing of this event, because the first team to 50 points wins, and if you go for the high stakes and you stake the highest amount of credits, you need to score at least 20 points on your own to get the credits. So there is not enough points in one match if you're running in a 4 player party. So in public groups it's basically you versus 3 other people that are really hoping you're gonna die so they can pick up your index points and there are also 4 corpus digheads running around trying to kill you. So public groups are a no-go, just do it on your own, it is far better. Once you win the first arena 5 times you will be given an index badge and another arena will appear. Here you can stake 15,000 credits for a 30,000 credit return, 25,000 credits for 50,000 return and 35,000 credits for a 70,000 credit return. And the rules are the same as they were in the previous arena, so for the first one the lowest risk you need 5 index points, with the second one you need 10 index points and you will have 1 negative modifier, and for the third one the high risk one you will need 20 points and you will have 2 negative modifiers. And this is pretty much the same as the first arena, just the enemies are higher level and you are staking more credits. And if you win this one 5 times, you will get an Exodus Adapter and the final Endurance Arena will appear. And here you'll be staking quite a bit, for the low one you have 45,000 credits, for the medium one you have 60,000 credits and for the high risk you have 75,000 credits. However, you need 25 index points for the low risk, you need 50 index points for the medium risk and 100 points for the high risk. And this arena is different to the previous two arenas because it has a timer that ticks down and every time you cash in an index point it will give you 10 extra seconds. Now unfortunately this is not the only thing that happens when you cash in your index points because it will also scale up the enemies which is the second failing of this event. The enemies start off at level 50 which is pretty high, they start doing a lot of damage and it's pretty dangerous to run around with a lot of index points. But it's still doable, you just can't run around with 20 index points orbiting around you because they will one shot you. But because you have to cash your index points to give you extra time, after about 5 minutes the enemies will be over level 100, they will have a ludicrous amount of proto shields so the only way to kill them is with toxin damage which will cut straight through those shields and they will do so much bloody damage that even their AOE abilities will start one shotting you even if you don't have any index points. And this is just not fun to play because all three of the squads that you can encounter in here have crowd control that will make you want to drink bleach after a while. They have ridiculous amounts of AOE damage which at this level will one shot you. I mean one of these digheads is running around with a sonic ore and he's just firing all over the place so if you get hit by one of those explosions you are dead. Or there is the Bursa, which is probably my least favorite mob in this. This one is just gonna sit in the hallway, it's gonna put up lasers in the hallway that you can't walk past, then it's gonna sit there and fire rockets at you while it has a shield in front of it that you can't shoot through. 
So there are basically only two ways to deal with this, either Bladestorm Ash or the biggest, tankiest frame with the biggest, burstiest weapon. Now I know this is just a preview so we can give them feedback for the actual event, but I'm kind of surprised that they didn't learn a damn thing from Rathum, because this is just Rathum with Bursas. It still has the same issues that Rathum had, but it also encourages people to be dicks to one another, even though they're playing on the same team. Now there are also 6 new mods that these enemies can drop, but they do have pretty low drop chance. There is the Medipet Kit, which regenerates 6 health every second and gives 72% bleed out reduction to Kubros and Kavats. There are Magnetic Shells, which is basically Acid Shells for Detron, so when you kill an enemy they will explode and deal 80 damage plus 40% of that enemy's maximum health as magnetic damage in a 6 meter radius. A Prova exclusive one called Static Discharge, which will cause your charge attacks to zap nearby enemies for 180 electricity damage. Pain Threshold, which gives you 160% faster stagger recovery. An exclusive one for Tetra and Prisma Tetra, which will cause your shots to travel 30% further and bounce up to 6 times. And the final mod, Shield Charger, which is usable on a Sentinel and it will boost your shields by 60% and your shield regen by 60% for 10 seconds. Now the best way to farm these in my opinion is to get a 4 man party with Necros, go into the lowest level arena and simply don't cash your points. And the reason you want a 4 man party for this is because the spectres that play with you if you go solo sometimes cash their points. Most of the time they just die with them and the enemies pick them up, but if you have a 4 man party you can control it and you can stay there for as long as you want basically. And that's pretty much it for the event, so the two things I would change is number one, make it so that it doesn't encourage people to be dicks to one another in public mode, and number two, slow down the scaling in the endurance mission, because as I've said already, it only takes five minutes for the enemies to be above level 100, and then it's just crowd control and death, nothing else. If you're not dead, you're basically just lying on the ground being crowd controlled all the time, and it's just not fun to play at that point. And honestly, do we really need more missions that are gonna be cheesed by Bladestorm Ash? I don't think so. And that's it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching, as always, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.